Welcome to Garden Plants with Jim Putnam. Let's talk Juliet Clara. This is Juliet Clara from the Southern Living Plant Collection. This is absolutely one of my favorite uh, plants in our garden here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, beautiful variegation on this plant. Each of the leaves uh, individually look almost hand painted. Uh, it's a green center with kind of an off-white uh, coloration, shiny, super shiny foliage. Stems are kind of reddish, so the variegation really pops against it. The new growth in the spring is kind of a maroon color that then be uh, becomes this variegation uh, over time. Uh, I'm shooting this in October, so it only has a little bit of that. I uh, just did a little bit of pruning on it not that long ago, and it, a little bit of growth has, has come out on it at a, not the best time of year. That'll probably actually end up getting burned. This is evergreen. Uh, it can reach, um, well, the tag's gonna say six to eight feet in height, three to four feet in width. Uh, it'll get taller than that if you just let it, but certainly maintainable anywhere between, you know, five and 10 feet in height and three to four feet in width. It's got a slightly upright habit. It's very compact, has a very compact growth habit on its own, has super inconspicuous flowers. Um, so you're not really buying this for the flowers, you're buying this for the super, super showy foliage. Clara is hardy in zone seven to 10. I think that uh, I would probably spring plant this in zone seven A. A lot of these leafy evergreens can take some damage um, in, in the first year in the ground in zone 7A and in a, in a bad winter. So as long as it has a season under it, it would be, uh, it'd be totally fine. And then uh, full sun is probably best. We've got this one in part shade and it's doing fine. It, it's only been pruned just one time and then uh, that was minor. It's grown quite a bit in a single season. So it's got a pretty good, uh, a pretty good growth rate on it. Uh, full sun in zone seven, zone eight, by the time you get to nine or 10, it'd probably benefit from being in the part shade. I'm in seven B here in Raleigh. And again, in part shade looks fantastic. The variegation shows up fantastic. A lot of these gold or variegated plants will be less gold or variegated in part shade, but this one is not, um, looks absolutely fantastic. So let's talk about some uses for Juliet Clara. We've got it up against a chain link fence uh, between us and a neighbor. And so we're just gonna let this thing get six or eight feet in height and it's gonna be an absolutely perfect screen. Our screen porch is over here. So, you know, just from a line of sight, uh, we'll, we'd, we're gonna see this be big, beautiful variegated uh, foliage plant with the maroon foliage when it's, when it's actively growing instead of a chain link fence uh, that's behind it. So that's what we're using it for. Great in any kind of mixed border like that. So we've got an Osmanthus and then the Clara and then uh, Sunshine Ligustrum back here. We've got a mix of different things that we're using and this is just one, it, one piece in that. Be a great corner foundation plant uh, in a part shade or even a full sun uh, condition where because of its kind of narrow upright habit, it would kind of fit that corner space perfect. Good container choice if you're in zone, especially if you're in zone nine or 10 uh, and then uh, just a one-off accent plant if you need some height in a bed and have some lower things just kind of coming down from it. Site selection will be any spot that is, is well-drained. So this is not a plant that's gonna wanna sit in water, uh, but it's not overall picky. As long as the spot kind of dries out between, between rains, it's not gonna matter a whole lot, this, whether it's sand or clay. We have a clay-based soil here. It had no problem whatsoever. It's hit the ground running. This was a very small, uh, this was a very small piece when it went in the ground about 18 months ago. Uh, and so it's grown quite a bit. And in fact, it was already this tall and we did a little bit of pruning uh, down to here uh, just recently. So put on a lot of growth uh, in terms of watering, extremely drought tolerant once established, but initially, uh, like anything else, you put it in the ground, you need to keep an eye on the uh, watering. I plant it, almost drown it, you know, when you plant it and then, you know, uh, water until the ground kind of resists watering. So you settle it in and then you let it dry out between waterings. Once it's established, again, it doesn't need a lot of ongoing watering if you're in an area that gets regular rainfall. We've got it mulched. Um, we've got some other perennials and annuals and other shrubs planted around it. Doesn't have any problem competing with any of those things. We're just keeping you know, weeds from running up or vines growing in it or anything like that. Uh, we'll, we, this can be, this is best pruned probably in the late winter, early spring 
uh, and then not a whole lot after about midsummer because again, we pruned this one. I pruned this one a few weeks ago and it put on new growth. You know, sometimes when you prune a plant, it'll stimulate new growth. That's what happened here. This newish growth toward the end of the season is probably, uh, probably gonna get burned. So I would say pruning between, you know, February and about the 4th of July, something like that. And you can go hard pruning this plant. You can prune it back to the, almost the ground if it was in the ground for several years and you needed to reset it. Uh, in general though, it's just not gonna require a lot of pruning. It grows kind of full on its own, especially if it's in more sun than this one is getting. It'll grow fuller and more compact. We fertilize once a year with an organic fertilizer in the late winter. Again, between the, the organic fertilizer and the mulch uh, and our native soil, it's perfectly fine without any additional fertilizer. Clayera are considered extremely pest resistant. We really just don't have a lot of problems on them at all. They're just kind of no fuss plants in general. And this is a beautiful variegated version of a Clayera. So this is Juliet Clayera from the Southern Living Plant Collection. One of my absolute favorite pieces in my garden here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Thanks for watching.